great career of Andre Bishop tries to move forward tonight. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my broadcast partner, Teddy Atlas, coming to you from the Thomas and Mack Center, where tonight, the unbeaten we over the rules Andre the Bishop room. will Let's face the veteran fight. heavyweight, Dwight Cooper. All right. A lot of confidence coming from Andre Bishop. That's a big striking blow to the head by Cooper. And a cut has opened up over Andre Bishop's right eye. In a way, it's a little bit of a warning, Joe, of things to come. Now you have to be a little bit more cautious, a little more alert. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. He's working the bottom. And now you can see him zoning in on that cut. Is it just human nature when you've done that to somebody to want to go back to it more and more? Yeah, it's kind of like the bull seeing that red cape. You know, his eyes open, he snorts a little bit more. He's coming for that. Good jab by Cooper. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Cooper trying to get away from Bishop's attack. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Hey. You gotta see Good that job with the Let's left go. hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Andre Bishop. Wow, just like the old timers, a four punch combination. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Good work. Good block. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? A headshot blocked. Atta the boy. other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Is home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. He's jumping all over him now. Cooper's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Finish with the hook. You can see Andre Bishop now is employing a lot of defense. He has those hands up high trying to protect that cut eye. Bishop snapping that jab. Wow, look at that training shot. Hits him in the mug with the right. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Right to the head with that right. Move your head. Stay on the inside. Solid left hand to the head. Protecting his head well with his guard. The combo lands upstairs. Relax, relax, you're okay. You see the temperament of trainer Gus Carisi, very level-headed veteran kind of trainer. I mean, some guys would be so excited coming off a round where they saw their fighter like Andre Bishop nearly floor an opponent. Not an experienced guy, not a pro. And Gus is a pro, he's experienced. You have to be calm, otherwise your fighter will not be calm. <laughs> Good. 
Cooper's defense is paying off now. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier, you did some damage, but now he's fighting with such a defensive style, it can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustment. You're going to deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab, you know, close that gap, put your punches together more, and start banging that body a little bit extra. He gets off with a combination up top. Now that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight to beat the bigger man. That's a bitter hook by Andre Bishop. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. Great combination from Bishop. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. To the head he goes with a left hand. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Uppercut. Uppercut. Eddie, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Protect yourself! See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You gotta keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. Halfway through round number four. Work the body. How about that exchange? Scoring with the right hand by Andre Bishop. Defense. Bishop's More combination defense. punching is working well here. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. Effective work with that flush overhand right. What a good headshot. The hook landed by Andre Bishop. This is a real concern now for Andre Bishop as Dwight Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. He could get a TKO victory here if that continues. You see he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cup between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. Inside, inside, elbow, stay away from those. You know, I didn't think we'd be saying this about him, but Teddy, right now, stamina is a real question mark for Bishop. Yeah, and it's hard to understand how it would be because he's always been in shape before. You look at his body, it's not always an indicator, but it looks like he's in shape. 
You have to wonder if he assumed something and was a little overconfident in this fight. Turns over that hook upstairs. He has walked through bullets, bazookas, and bombs, and he's still standing in there tonight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a testament not just to the physical makeup. I know a lot of people at home are going to say, wow, what kind of bone does he have inside that chin? But it's his mind, too. He's making a choice, just like you do in life and other things. He's making a choice to deal with this. A lot of guys would have given in already. Doubling up that jab that serves him well to the body. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Final 10 seconds. Really fun looking fight so far here. We've reached the halfway mark. Teddy, your impressions as to what we're gonna see in the second half of this fight? More of the same. I don't think these fighters know how to do anything, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really change gears at this point. You're gonna see more of the same. Cooper's banged up by a left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He, did you see that? He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Move your head. Andre oh. Bishop, so dangerous with that accuracy, a two punch combination landing. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. More than one at him now, the combo to the head. Stay away from him. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Cooper's quartermen did a good really job good there. job go. after a round in which their fighter was knocked down of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Oh, what a hook upstairs. A shooting right hand by Andre Bishop. Combination to the head. Let it go. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck. Look at that. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? able to get up. Teddy, I question though if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head.
to go in this round. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. That was a good round for Andre Bishop. He just went out there and controlled everything. And he did it fundamentally, too. He used the jab. He set up the body attack. He did it like a good, solid fighter. Big shot there. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. may have been a big wake-up call for Andre Bishop. A knockout victory over Dwight Cooper.